we are at Paisley's Elementary School today. This is her graduation from elementary. It's kind of sad. It's not. Kind of happy. No, not. We'll stop getting a thousand elementary schools. It's our tomorrow. last day. Well, our last week at the elementary school. Yeah. After 22 years. They grow up so fast. Nice. Paisley McKnight. Field day is so fun. I love field day. My favorite part of field day is tattoos, slides, races, and games to play. I love field day. So tonight, it is now 11.20, and all the girls just got back from a movie, and we realized tomorrow morning, Paisley is doing her final fourth grade walk, and some of the moms decided to do like a car, decorate your car drop off, which they don't normally do. So we are frantically coming up with how to pull it off, but it's gonna be a little janky. So I have some balloons upstairs, and we're gonna blow them up and like roll them up in the windows, and I have, fortunately, I keep car paints, so we're gonna decorate some stuff on the windows. Paisley had a doctor's appointment today so she didn't go to school and they were doing sidewalk chalk squares for like all the kids are gonna stand outside and they each had a little square to stand in everyone gets to drive by and say goodbye and Paisley wasn't there so her square is not decorated so Brooklyn and Camry are going to go right now it's dark 1120 mind you and use their headlights to decorate a square for her okay how do you feel about this late night activity I have negative our skills. This is all that we have. This is the chalk I could rummage up from the garage in bin. The garage. <laughs> I don't know where this square of hers is. We our, have it in a frisbee. Our are red and black, and we have one. Well, chalk is never red and black. So but it's okay, guys. She won't care. She'll just she'll just be excited decorated. that she has it. Oh, it glows in the dark. Oh, oh the frisbee, the frisbee does. does. <laughs> well then, use your headlights to find her square. I gave you directions where the teacher says it is. Helpful. Okay. Okay. Bye. bye. Anybody that's under the false pretense that I always have my crap together or that everything always looks Pinteresty around here? Um, I'm not good at this either. My 2021 is a little janky. Pays, right 2021, fourth grade graduation. <laughs> Some of you've asked, and the reason they are doing a fourth grade graduation is because that's the elementary end here. After that, they go to intermediate school. So tomorrow will be, guess what, Bailey? Our last official day with an elementary school student. Holy cow. After 21 and a half years. Getting this much closer to being an empty nester. I love it. No more about me posters, no more PTA Valentine's parties. It was fun while it lasted, but guys, after six kids, I'm over it. Alright, so this is what we've got so far. Also, it's raining. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. This is apparently what we do at midnight now. What do you think? Apparently. We're chalk artists. So we got all the tasks completed. We got the car decorated. We got her sidewalk all done. It looks so freaking cute. They got home. We were home for 20 minutes and I kid you not, this is what happened. What do you think the chances are the sidewalk chalk survives? Well, what do you think of your car, Paisley? Good. Your chariot covered in paint. Mm, have fun cleaning it off. That fortunately didn't get rained on last night like your sidewalk chalk. <laughs> Here's the parade lining up. Here's Paisley. So they're about ready to walk out. They're coming to the school for their last parade walk. Is coming. Yep, here we go. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Bye, Paige. Home for summer. Pace, what's the matter? I don't want to leave my teacher. Oh, you miss your teachers so much already? Are you just extra sad because you won't be in the same building? Yeah. All right, so it is my last weekend home. Brooklyn and I are moving on Monday. And so we're just trying to do some last stuff together. And so we're yeah. going to Bahama Bucks. And Crumble. Where Ryland, we are? Sure. 
Yeah, it'll be, yeah. So we have to go to Bahama Bucks for something for work and then we are going to Crumble because they're opening a ton of franchises like everywhere and they just opened one in Waco and they've had one here for like a year but I feel like they're blowing up. And fun fact, Crumble is actually from Utah. It's from Provo where I go to school. That's like where they started. So like all the headquarters and stuff are yeah, like, all in Provo. Yeah, they have Crumble trucks. Yeah, we have, we have Crumble so trucks. Cool. We have like a ton of stuff there for Crumble and Provo but like I love Crumble and I think it's just such a genius idea and this is not an ad for Crumble. It sounds like it is, but it's not. We just are super excited Everyone to try the food first. And every week, every week, Senna and I are like, can we have to try the next one? So we're waiting for our favorite flavors to come back. But I really want to try the ones this week, so we're going to see what they taste like. Here they are. In all their glory. I'm excited to try them. Okay, Brooklyn and I are going to try them. I just want to try the, the confetti. We have, to try, we have to try a piece of all of them. I'm like so sort of hesitant to right. with this like butter cake. Left to right. It tastes like a butter cookie. <laughs> like they just like put butter on a regular yeah, cookie. It does. That's literally all that one tastes like. It's like not bad. Okay, it tastes really similar to birthday cake, but not. It's like too crumbly for me, I think. Like it's not dense enough. I like mm -hmm. it when they're denser. Pretty okay. good. The frosting tastes a little like strawberry ish or something. No, it's like cream cheese. Mm. Rocky Road. I'm scared. I don't want to try this one. I'm scared on this one too. It has the same base as like chocolate cake. Okay, I like that one more than I thought I was gonna yeah, like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Andy's. This one is the same as the dirt cookie, I think. Holy. Oh, it's cold, that's why. Holy, dense. This tastes like our Andy's movies. Yeah. It's a little pepperminty. Yeah, whoa. It's not sweet mint, it's peppermint. Whoa. Yeah, I like it. Honestly, I think my favorite might have been the freaking Rocky Road, whatever, what you call it. Oh, whoa. What'd you think? I think I would like to Not as good as chocolate cake. And this tastes like I'm eating toothpaste. <laughs> That's what I said. It's a little too pepperminty. It needs to be like more like Andy uh -huh. and a little less like crest toothpaste. That's what I thought too. Can I But try? it's pretty good. It literally looks like, it tastes like somebody squeezed toothpaste on the top. Yeah, it's too pepperminty I think. Mm -hmm. I just want them to bring back, we want them to bring back birthday cake. Mm -hmm. Chocolate cake mm -hmm. and Twix. Mm -mm. Twix, those are the best ones. I don't like Twix so much. Birthday cake is so good. Chocolate cake. What do you think? Rocky Road was good. Yeah. Any time I sit in this chair, Ash pops up here and sits on the crook of my neck and my shoulder like every time without fail. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Anyway, tomorrow early morning, Rylan and I are headed to Scottsdale, Arizona. The Great Wolf Lodge, there we're holding Clamor Summit. A friend of mine runs that event. It's invite only, only a select few this year because we haven't held it in two years and last year, well, 2020. This year, only a select few channels were invited to come, uh, meet with a few brands that are sponsoring the event uh, and have an educational track. I'm speaking at a couple panels and round tables while I'm there. Anyway, I want wanted to mention to you that there's a sister event to Clamor Summit, which is mostly for YouTube channels, a, an event called Clamor Live, which will be a fan event that's going to be held here in Dallas in August. So be sure to look that up, Clamor Live here in Dallas. Uh, Brooklyn and Bailey will be there. Cameron will be there. Our family, several other influencers will be there. It will be a lot different than events in the past because we will try to maintain the social distancing and, and government protocols that are in place for, you know, the pandemic. So, but, and we're looking forward to get back to people, meeting people, seeing you, taking pictures with you, and we're excited. Okay guys, so we got here. We're now at Great Wolf Lodge. After a whole morning of flying around, um, there's like lines of people everywhere. It's really a lot of people. <laughs> She's excited. I am excited. All my friends are here. I don't get to see them very often. We're about to check in. I don't really know what's going to happen after that, but yeah. So I just came back to the room to change really quick before dinner and Rylan's already out socializing with her YouTube buddies. It's kind of fun that she gets to come and do this. Look, this is the suite we have. This is where Ryland's gonna stay. <laughs> they do such a good job here for little kids. The Great Wolf Lodge. Ryland's actually gonna sleep in this bed right here, and I have a different room to just right straight through there. Nice gift basket from the team here. And Ryland is already down with her friends. Okay guys, so we are at the first night's dinner, which um, I'll show you the setup, okay? So we're all around the pool. And um, right here, they have like some orange chicken, fried rice type food. Right there, they have pizza, like chicken. There's just so much, so, like so many different types of food. And it's all so good. I just want all of it. So yeah, 
I forgot to show you guys um, what I got. I got fried rice, pod stickers, and orange chicken, and I'm gonna be drinking water. So this is dinner tonight. It looks so good. This is amazing. I'm in love. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm here with Shay. Hi. And we are playing sardines with a bunch of people and we really are bad at this. We're, we're a team. Yeah, we're trying but to find, but no it's one can kind find of anyone. Of yeah, we, <laughs> we can see all those people. It's like all of us. Anyway, it's like kind of late, so I'm a little tired. I'm for this creators for many years. I'm ready to share some messages today, you know, from Organic Birds, where I say, you know, um, happy Thanksgiving. How's it going? You having fun? Right, having I finally fun. found her. <laughs> hanging out with the hoodlums. Oh, <laughs> you guys yeah. keeping good, you guys keep entertained, right? Yeah. Okay guys, so today is the last day at Clamor. Um, I think we're checking out by 11 and then me and my dad are gonna go see our family. Um, friends that live down here, like about 30 minutes from here. But Brock and Boston left early this morning. It's actually their birthday. And so I just like kind of went down to eight and then just hung out, played some tug of war, went and saw some booths. And yeah, now I'm here I'm walking to the room. I'm gonna go pack up my stuff. I've had so much fun this vacation. It has been so much fun. Like it literally doesn't feel like, I don't get to see these people very often because they live across the entire country. But whenever we have these things and get together, it's so much fun. Okay guys, so I'm here with my dad and we are at our grandparents' house. We extended our trip a few days in Arizona to stay with them because we haven't seen them in a long time. We are about to gold pan mine. Yeah, it's one of my favorite. <laughs> well, when I used to live here, uh, Grandpa Bill and I used to go out in the desert and we pan for gold. And I actually have a vial of about half an ounce of gold that I pan from, from here in Arizona. So, so yeah, fun. he's gonna show me how to do it. We're just doing it in a little thing of water. Anywhere in the sand, so the goal is to shift the sand around so that the heavy stuff goes to the bottom. So you gotta put a little bit of water in here, like this, right? Yep. And you just kind of shake it around, see how it's like moving. Mm -hmm. So anything heavy will sift down to the bottom and you just kind of let that dirt kind of come out, right? Swash it around. And those little riffles will catch any gold. Stuff's in the bottom. This is what we're down to. This is what we're down to. You, you see it? Oh yeah, I see it now. See it's it? shining. There it is. Let's get a little more out. It's the heaviest thing in there. Gold. That's a piece of gold right there. It's a pretty decent size. Yay! <laughs> now it's Ryland's turn. She's got gold fever. <laughs> we know what that is, don't we? No, we do. We totally know we what do. that is. So like I said, when I was in graduate school, we lived here in Arizona and Grandpa Bill would take me down to Tucson and we would pan for gold like every couple months. Oh we? yeah. Yeah, and we got good at it. And then he would go out in the Superstition Mountains and we'd do it out there as well. Yeah, we didn't make a lot of money off of it, but it was, it was like the joy in the hunt. Yes, and there's something about gold. <laughs> there's, there's definitely something about gold. So if you look right inside here, you can see the little nugget that I panned. Can you see it in there, just that little guy? Inside, they're not very big, but you collect a bunch of those, and at gold at $2,000 an ounce, it's actually pretty valuable. Let's see if Rylan can get one now, right, Rylan? Huh? Yeah. See if we can get one now. Yeah. Sometimes it can be little fine gold dust, sometimes it can be little teeny tiny flakes, and sometimes you might get what they call a picker. Mm -hmm. It's called a picker because it's a nugget big enough that you can just pick it out of the pan instead of a fine powder. Well, let's see, what do we got? There's a little, is it a flake or a nugget? It's pretty good size. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. There might be more. So it's the heaviest thing in there. So you can actually be pretty aggressive on that top sand there. Slowly let it wash that sand out of there. Got a little, little pickers there. There's one. Okay. We can see before we get you out there doing the real stuff, you know, get rid of those nails. <laughs> yeah, those are, gold, those are gold, gold panning nails right there. Okay, now here are Ryland's two little, these are tiny little nuggets. You got two of those little guys in there. Ry Ry, good job. <laughs> high five, high four. <laughs> okay, here we are with baby grandma and grandpa Bill, and we ordered the mother load chocolate cake. This is Mindy's favorite cake in Arizona. <laughs> This is my hand right here. <laughs> See my hand? That's the cake. That's Mindy's favorite cake. Go for the frosting oh. first. Uh -huh. oh, that's delicious. This is it good? Oh, it's, yeah. Do you want, do you want a whole piece? Give it a try. Okay, guys, so it's me and my dad's last day. Oh, it's like super bright. 
Um, anyway, we're in the airport and we're eating Shake Shack because it's our favorite. It's our favorite. Uh, we're about to fly to Salt Lake and then into Dallas. It's, what time is it? Two? It's 12, one, yeah. one. And uh, we land in Dallas at 9.30 because we mm. gained two hours, but still it's like a long day of flying. Yeah, we're just trying to get some lunch. It was a good trip, we bonded. Lunch. Yeah. I'm our favorite parent Definitely. now. <laughs> I already was, but I'm kind of like even more so now. Totally. Super fun trip. I had a lot of fun getting to know more people and seeing all my old friends and hanging out with my grandparents and just everything. So while I worked. <laughs>